Ah, that's right, since I have the free colonist, I need to look to who's going where next. And it is uh, Kala... Yeah, these guys. Kalatayad. They're the last bunch I gotta get rid of. And they are uh, Aragonese. Oh, you're you're getting your own stuff now. How about we try a new colonial air? Nah, it doesn't really make much sense, does it? Really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Let's just have you be as strong as possible. Like with this, with this six development land. Aragonese, off you go, and that's the last Aragonese. Happy days for me. Any other people to piss all over their cornflakes around here? Well, there's Brunswick, and I don't think they're involved in much of anything at this point. Maybe just uh, putting a bit of pressure on their capital will be enough to, pu uh, to push them out. Sasari down as well, but I'm a long way from culturally enriching these ones, and it's not a concern. Also, Bairn. Uh, troubling that, the Gascons. Might have to deal with them at some point. Right, there goes Mains. Well, I would like to say welcome to being my subject, but they won't want that peace deal uh, because the war is still very much waging or raging on. So, who's next? Well, the Palatinate need to go, as do Trier. Well, that means we just work our way south. Falgrav Shaf Bahrain and uh, Alsace, Trier. We just keep on keeping on. Maine still have two more provinces, Jake. Is that so? Granted, I'm not good at seeing things, but... Ah, of course, here we go. That's definitely why they don't want peace. But we've got the capital, which is the most important. And it's time for Mohammed Nasir to see this one through. God, you're old. Could you please make a baby of some sort? Let's marry who we can. I don't really want to marry the Ottomans. I'm not looking for a long-term commitment here. I've already got it going on with Foi. I'm sure you'll come up with a baby. Piety gets rather reset after uh, Monarch death. So, is this enough to get you out? Now, to be clear, Brunswick are not part of the Electorship. So I can just uh, kiss goodbye to them. I don't even want them here. I'm just wasting my time. Uh, Brandenburg is a big cheese. I don't want to take him on just yet. I should work my way south a bit and take care of Trier. Sounds good. Doesn't have a lot to write home about at this point. Alsace is down. Again, Alsace not part of the decision-making crew and somebody that I can just kick straight out of this. Just wanting war score. Nothing special. Because it delays you joining a coalition against me. Again, Alsace, not part of this. It would be a huge mistake to piece someone out separately, so I'm, I'm being uh, extra prudent about that. That was good. That was a capital plus fort that I no longer have to worry about. Where do you go from here, though? I think we're going to wrap up some situations down south before you return up north. you got a lot of cannons, though. I'd rather have a few more of those help out with sieges up here. I'll detach five of them and have them help out in Cologne. Hang on, is Trier an option? I don't really like Trier, and that's just a capital fort on its own. Yeah, make it so. The Sheikh ul Islam. Show me the money. These battles are fairly meaningless because it's uh, not a show superiority war. Gotta say, brutalizing all these people feels so good. My manpower doesn't feel that good, but that's okay. This is the do-or-die full-metal-cars war. 
Oh, oh, that's a that's a spicy one. I don't want to get involved with that with a ten foot uh, barge pole. Send some reinforcements down. Frankfurt grows, that's fine. I mean, I already knocked out Nassau for you, so you're welcome. Cologne, however, I'm afraid it's time to be my subject. Let's get you out of this. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now, damn, they are involved in the, uh, the war. I wanted to put them on scootage. I mean, I can still put them on scootage. Where are you? Cologne. Scootage time for you. Sure, you hate me, but most people hate me. You guys are relatively free now, though, so... Assist. Maybe I could take you on. I'm not that outnumbered. But I would be flanked, and I don't like that. Bring these folks down to help. Right, I am the great Sultan. Fowls is down. Take care of their capital as well, which is relatively undefended. What do you think about a map mode that only shows troops that are involved in your war? Sorry for bugging. Well, don't be sorry for that, but I don't think it's a good idea. It's generally good to see where enemy units are or even neutral units. For example, uh, if I was using that map mode when at war and France were mobilizing on my border, I'd want to know that. Because it usually means they're about to declare war on me. All right, Trier. You still gotta go, but uh, there's more. Oh yeah, right, Trier is the person that I'm fighting here. I can't separate piece Trier. However, we can push further on. Bohemia, Brandenburg, and Palatinate all need to go. Well, that means Prague and Berlin, both of which are capitals with forts. Fortunately, they're not souped up forts, but it's still not great for me. I could make the move. I know his units are a bit busy with me right now. Risky to send you off on your own, but I'll take the risk. Ah, well, especially when we have you to back us up. On we go. Prague must be ours. How come you're vassalizing electors? Is the Emperor not in the war? I am at war with the Emperor. I'm just doing everything I can here. It's not of much use, but... Uh, let's... Oh, well. Let's just get the final one for a laugh. Even getting coffee over in the New World, going with the chocolate. I hate coffee, but fair enough. Alright, Falgrav, Schaff, Bahrain, and their capital is down. Let's send everything we can over to Prague to knock out the Emperor. And then it's just Bohemia. No, then it's just Brandenburg. I know my bows here. Alright, let's also take the fight to them, show them what's for. They think they can siege down Rusalon. I think it's down to pedantic Mikey to show them what's what. We don't have all the cannons that I want, but I think we have more than enough. Welcome to the Age of Absolutism. We almost have potential for a large army, but we don't have a lot else going on. <laughs> Multicultural nation, promote them. Uh, no. I don't think we're going to ever see a Golden Age, but that's not how we're playing this one. Good job, you sent them packing. Now, the big march. Efficiency is now out the window. What matters is blowing stuff up.
18 manpower in Prague, that's Jojo levels of manliness. Sadly, Jojo has been outstripped, but uh, I'd like to boost them up at this point, but I don't even have the, uh, the mill to do so. This is not the best way to be uh, using up my troops, and everybody knows it. But that's okay. Do as I say, not as I do. You're being shipped off. You're all being shipped off. Try as they might, they're not going to manage with that. And the separatism will be over here in eight years. Oh wow, Prague did not last long at all. Let's carve our way up to Berlin. Yeah, Bohemia is really going full European Universalis 3 on us here. These guys made it to Berlin faster than I'd expected. Blow those walls down, laddie. My colonies are going quite nicely. Valska is going to take a wee while, but that's okay. It's not full EU3 until you get Castilian Asian owning half of Anatolia. There's a nice blast from the past. Man, I played so much EU3, it's incredible. Man. Bohemia just can't keep it together, can they? How much money will I be able to punch out of them? I'll take it. I will take it and run. How's Christendom holding up? Not terribly well. Not terribly well at all. And that is the end of the HRE. We get 100 prestige for it, so uh, who's a bit unhappy with me? Cologne is. Let's placate them a chunk. Foi is still a bit unhappy. Placate them as well. So, it was a good fight, HRE. Unfortunately, the Moors win today. Farewell. You have now been, uh, now been assigned to the Annals of History. Whereas I have a pretty sweet war uh, that I have won here. And I get to consider my spoils. My spoils are going to include crushing Maine. Uh, where is... I mean, yeah, I see where their fort is. I just want to take it down. Brandenburg I don't really care for. I could just piece you out and not care much about anything, except I want all your money, of course. It's rather nice. Goodbye. Similarly, there's not a whole lot I need out of uh, Blobhemia either, and I am rather proud of their incredible blobbing. So as long as they give me all the money, and I do mean all the money, then we have something nice going on. Single Malt 99 says, This is the first campaign I see you playing, and now I understand the fan love you got at the event in Polish Castle. Great job. Fan love sounds so uh, illicit, but I see what you're saying, and I appreciate it. Who else is left? It's just Trier and Mainz. I will subjugate both of them just to show that I am uh, the big cheese here. And Munster I can actually just peace out with. I don't care about them right now. People are disbanding the coalition against me. They're terrified. They saw what I did to the HRE and they do not want to be part of that as well. Just say no to your friendships. Not even looking or caring what they are. Just say no to them. And now, there we go, right, just because you have 996 aggressive expansion with someone doesn't mean that you're screwed for life, you can forcibly take down a coalition. Oh, also, there's the Prussia that somebody was after, they were uh, forced into, maybe they couldn't convert you to endless wars or something. Right. Change of path. Oh, right. A lot of you got exiled because of the, the war ending there. Unexile yourself over there. Shoot down mains. But we still have a job to do. Bunch of people out of the wars. Where's my navy? Again, I keep losing track of you. Uh, supply ships reach there, so that's okay. Bohemians have found their crystal. 
Bring me the black crystal, as they say. Call for peace. No, no, no. It doesn't work that easily. Trier and Mains have got to go. Hmm. The last Aragonese in Andalusia. The Catholic Aragonese people of Catalonia have long felt singled out in Andalusian society, being both a culture and a religious minority. Now they're being cast out of the only place they have left. Seeing no future, their presence here is increasingly threatened. Many now fear repercussions of staying too long in a hostile environment rather than being controlled. They are leaving rapidly, no one wanting to be the last ones left here. <laughs> yes! What do you mean, not quite how I had planned? This is exactly how I had planned. They want to leave here, and they want to burn down their precious tax base with it. Get out of here, I say. I'll burn you down as I chase you. Get away. Beautiful. Just beautiful. How did they know? That surely... <laughs> I'm not sure the event was meant to know that those were the very last Aragonese in Europe. But it knew. In fact, I think we're going to celebrate by actually burning down all the lands that were once Aragonese. That's the only thing that seems fitting to me. Away you buggers go. And despite all this burning, I'm still top dog as great power in the world. Don't forget it. Alright, I think it's time. I think it's time for the uh, the Danes to go goodbye. They owe me a lot of money. Early on there was a big coalition war and I pieced out early. The Danes were leading it. I, uh, I thought piecing out early was the right thing to do. However, it was only after I clicked the send button I realized that the Danes were the war leader. I wanted their money. I really wanted their money. And I never, ever forget a debt. So... I think it's time for the Danes to just collectively uh, pay me what is long overdue and what is most assuredly mine. Ah yes, Shellan's getting in the way there, isn't it? I'll detach a few uh, die-hard troops there so that they don't feel inclined to move over, but otherwise... Actually, there are other ways to do this. We could get... Uh, on and off that boat to take care of them. They're only Danes. Is there an event that lets you flood the Netherlands and turn a few provinces into water? How I wish. Breaching. I didn't even need to uh, fire my cannons off to score that breach. Oh, and the Russians are joining in. You know, there's one country that never gave me upper lip in all this. The Russians. They might have threatened the coalition uh, towards me, but they uh, they didn't do diddly. Right, welcome to... Ah, bollocks. However... Nah, hold it, arson chips, that I can't... Did they expand? I could have sworn they were, uh, they were small enough for me to subjugate at the start of all this. Well, it doesn't matter. I still just take their money take their everything, even take their friends away from them. And then there was Trier. You will be my subject. And you gotta end that rivalry and... No, otherwise we're good. Also, if you've never seen this before, this is the aggressive expansion cap, 1,000. I've reached it uh, at least once before when I did the Ryuki World Conquest France. Again, it was France. had a 1,000 aggressive expansion with me. doesn't get any higher than that, so... Um, the downside is it takes 350-odd years to get rid of. Uh, not quite that much, but around 300. Back in the olden days, there were a lot more ways to boil down aggressive expansion with better relations over time. I haven't looked into you get, if you get more or less now, but there you go. That is the AE cap. And France is alone with it, I think. No, no, God hates me as well. God and France together want me gone. However, they just can't, 
I can't arrange a piss up in a brewery, these guys. No coalition against me ever since I crippled the HRE. God, oh, I'm a happy man today. I'm a very happy man today. So about that money, Denmark. About that money. Better grab it before the Russians take everything else. I feel a bit unsatisfied with this, personally. Yeah, there's not really any nations that I can kick the teeth out of around here, though. Not to the point where I want Sweden on the map and Gotland is gone. Lack of uh, lack of nations to to, to to spit out here. Ah, capital idea. We take Bornholm. Thank you, Bacon Angel. Bornholm is, of course, ours by birthright. Excellent work, folks. Those who can get on the boat. Thirteen, fifty-eight, fifty-two, huh? You guys get on the boat. And the rest of you just enjoy the parade home. And that, as they say, is that. We've been able to uh, completely destroy the HRE. It now only exists in. Uh, uncolonized provinces for reasons that I'm not actually all that sure about. It's because nobody is the emperor, so lands that are owned by nobody are of course imperial lands. We kick the money out of everyone and are finally looking good on Dosh. And oh, another happy, uh, happy bunch of Iberians have been sent elsewhere. I don't even have anybody left to kick out. We're doing uh, three more and they won't take long. And then it's just Menorca and Ibiza to do, and that's going to be six years before that can be done. So, I might as well just speed up and get that done, because I don't leave things half done. <laughs> God, it's good to be the best. Oh yeah, I told you to get on that boat. How about the boat comes back somewhere useful? And uh, unsurprisingly, my subjects are a bit unhappy with the everything going on. So I will have my automats improve with subjects. Hell, I'll send two of them on them. I don't really care what France tries on me anymore. And the conversions continue. This one can't be done because of religious seal, and that's going to be around forevermore. So never mind that. It's like the buzzcocks. Never mind them. Jake, what about Portugal? Portugal have been removed. Now what you mean is there's Portugal on the map, but I really don't feel like going and chasing them down. Like I said, this is not a blobbing campaign, and there's nothing I can do with this land other than take it for myself reasonably. So no, I'm not going to go down for that. We have a new heir. His name's apparently Yusuf. I don't like that. Let's go with uh, Lebensol. Not too shabby either. Oh, truces are up, so they might try one last uh, hurrah against me. Bring it on, I say, because I've already won oak crumbs. Well, these guys are stuck, aren't they? Well, that was a mistake, and no one's going to let them out, either. Eh, we had a good run. Away you go. Who needs an army, anyway? See if that can't tempt them into taking us on. Oh, it will. It will, and then some. Now I just got rid of a whole load of my very useful army with that uh, brilliant maneuver. 30, 41, they're okay there. You guys are just mercs and cannons as well. And I think I have uh, most of the everything I can get. There we go, and there we go. And I want some more cannons as well. Now that will spur on the coalition to ignite, but surely the Ottomans will be more than happy to uh, keep my back there. Wait, seed to lose to me? 
I even want to lose. I gave it to you for a reason. I'll lose my claim on that. It uh, doesn't matter. That's the thing. The, the mission for Crusader Kings wanted me to take this land, but really I'd rather my subject had it. <laughs> Imagine Germany just having 100,000 angry Islamic soldiers just dumped there. Ah, too soon, my friend. Too soon. Speaking of the spread of Islam... Ah, jeez. Religious zeal is still everywhere in this guy's land. Where can I even convert at this rate? You're out of the question. All of you are really 0%? That seems just ghastly. Strong seat of Arista. Okay, then. Nowhere is really... Well, there's Catalud, but you're you're busy. Ruzlon as well, and you. Then there's nothing to worry about. Hey, Aristo, how's it going? Ah, truly all is well in the country. The reason I'm just speed fiving it through is because I uh, I don't want to leave a job unfinished. There's only uh, only one thing left to do, and that is to culturally enrich. And there are only two provinces that uh, I need to wait on. These three, of course, are already being shipped off, so that's okay. Everything else is done. But these two, these two I need to do manually. Can't do anything about them whilst they still have separatism. However, that separatism will be gone in a year and a half. And burning it all down won't take very long either. How's the rest of the world looking is a question that comes in. That's a worthy thing to check out. This is what we know of the world. Uh, Moravi is looking pretty well for themselves down in uh, the south of Africa. Ming exploded early on. Manchu actually winning out against Korea is nice to see. It doesn't happen that often. Unfortunately, Korea is just... Their, their internal troubles are not um, are not represented enough in this game, I think. But that's a difficult thing to do. Japan's pretty much united. Sienese officers, not for that kind of wage. One thing I like about... Um, oh, hold on. Where was that even? Alright, they were... Oh no, you were not ready for that. I'm sure you'll be ready for it. Another happy customer, the Rusalons have been forcibly expelled. What I was trying to say was something I'm really happy about with Dharma is that uh, India tends not to just coalesce into one blob after 150 years. There's still quite a lot of fight going on. Still coalesces perhaps more than it should, but that's the game aspect of it, right? What is even a Balancia? Ah, see? When you're uh, when you're under Andalusian guidance, things just come together that bit better. And somebody on YouTube, I forget their name, but if you're hearing this, you know who you are, was uh, bemoaning the lack of build-up in my capital. So how about we have ourselves a nice little regimental camp and a good bit of development going on. There we go. 30 development, so... Uh, ah, the capital has to be more splendid than Granada, right? There you go. 33 development. Should make it my most developed province. Nice. Very nice. Oh, I'm so happy with how this campaign went. And it really had me on the ropes for a long time. It's a big reason why I wanted to balls to the walls it with the coalitions. There must have been people watching me taking all that land, going, the fool, what is he doing? But it was all part of the plan to keep it exciting. Not just for you, but for me, right? I've played so much of this game. I like to think there's not a lot that I can't do. But um, if I just played it slow, then towards the late game, you will always have the tools available to do what you want to do. I wanted to have a bit more pressure, and these coalitions certainly brought that to the table. I think the Eternal City is more prosperous, says Ortopox. 
Ship building, tax, a lot of events. They can't, they surely can't do much again. Oh, Christ, 39 over here. Rome with 40. Uh, there we go. When can I next burn you down? Two years, that'll be how we do it. Triumph of the Olema. I mean, do what you want. I'm not scared of you or anyone else. Austria is looking significantly better. Yeah, see, I saw another comment, and I do read these YouTube comments, you know, saying that this is pretty, um, pretty spot on for what alternative history buffs say would happen to a Europe that didn't have a new world, right? They, they didn't have all this stuff here to uh, to capitalize on, and the idea was the surgence of Islam in Europe. But I don't read much into alt history. Ah, here we go. They just can't keep themselves to the bloody selves, can they? Brittany again! The second Andalusian punitive war. Man, oh man. Okay, well, I'm not scared. Bring us what you want, because I'm going to slaughter you all. Should probably have a fort here, but nah, it's okay. Four years, and then I can start uh, culturally enriching these guys. Final blaze of glory. This is Europe's last stand, and it's so broken. It's got that real last stand feeling to it. This is all they could muster. I mean, really. Oh, and the Ottomans are on my side. Chings, I even have uh, numerical parity with them. The biggest joke of a coalition I've seen for a long time. Well, do your worst. Oh, Riga's in, right? Campaign's over, lads. Uh, please tell me I put my subjects on scootage. I forgot somebody, didn't I? Well, it looks like Trier gets to burn. The Ottomans were not busy, but they are, uh, they are dealing with... <laughs> okay, Russia didn't join in. What a champion. Zantaro has been done, and that means yet another one gets assimilated. The whole mainland has been de dealt with. It's just Ibiza and Menorca, and we're good to go. Also, that's a nice attack you're doing there. I would like more cannons and fewer men there. What's... Uh, 30, huh? Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4. Away you go. And then I want 5 cannons over here. We'll see if we can do this on our Todd. Russia's playing 5D chess. Russia's playing us all for fools. Go on then. Give them what's for. Somebody's unhappy with the way I lead them. It's Trier. Well, who cares, Trier? Not me. You lost. And I won. You know what? You should never fight your enemy without giving them a uh, way to retreat. Otherwise, they'll fight that bit harder. Let's give them the illusion that they can run to safety and then kill them. Oh, bollocks. That was just two production in Roma, wasn't it? Ah. Well, oh, it's a daisy. Still want to burn Roma down. And another Kersplat. Thank you. Come again. Won't catch him. Man, I thought we fixed that tooltip. It keeps unfixing itself. Any more for any more. Maybe I could help out uh, the Ottomans with their invasion. After all, I'm not under big threat here. Is the bug where you redirect the screen, da da da, that's not fixed right now, and believe me, I would like it fixed. It's a bit weird with the way that we handle the uh, the map scrolling in on itself. Alright, who will be the first to die? You will not be the last. 
Perhaps I shouldn't be running balls first into a mountain that's been occupied, but... It's kind of getting in my way from moving around here. Mm. Right, this isn't good for me. I don't have the maneuverability that I need. Let's go and kill others. Three years. <sighs> Truly, this must be everybody's favorite pastime. Let's just bring in more units. The the main fight is clearly in um, in Ottoman territory. fight that lasts at least a little bit of time is a nice chunk of war score for us. So I'll take everything I can get here. We will show our superiority. Especially against people with picnic cloths as their flag. and their attempts at coalitions. Everybody gets to die. Just line up. I don't even think I need this backup, actually. We'll just keep you there for just in cases. And that fort will protect you, so I'm not too worried about that revolt. Ah, Poles. They've not been punished enough for what they've done throughout this campaign. However, Slavonia is a nice opportunity to put them in their place. Uh, that war score from battles ticking up nicely. It's at 17, but it could be higher. I think they're, they're abandoning this front. I don't really blame them. Where's our good friend, the Ottoman? God knows what he's up to. Let's just kill in his, uh, in his honor. This is the Ottomans finally uh, doing me a favor. The other things were just them repaying me for the dishonor that they... Uh, they showed previously. Come on, these battles are too weak. Give me something where, where uh, pedantic Mikey can really show off his skills. Still, we'll do what we can. Slaughter everyone we find. And naturally win the war. With that in mind, let's be in a position to get our units back. Which would work if you retook Istra. Oh, nice. Very nice. Retook Istra, get on the boat, and then away we trot. I got rebels to kill. I got Mecklenburg to kill. And I got uh, two more years until we slaughter some more. You didn't take the troops, Jake. I didn't intend to. I want to get my troops out of here. I have other loose ends to wrap up. It's very nice that you get uh, war. Uh, you get naval. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? The ability to land your fleets with a war ally. Oh man, this is exactly what I wanted to do. There's no better way to get your 10 to 1s than that. That is just the ultimate. Oh, feels so good. Feels so dirty, but so good. They don't have even the illusion of escape. They just die.
give them a wee tick for the month, and then off we go to Rousselon, which I was told would be a French province before the end of the game. What a turnaround it made to take uh, Navarra off of France. That was a, uh, a dangerous situation, but we played it out well. We knew we'd come to blows with the French eventually. There are Germans in Foiland. I think they know what's coming, because they are scattering to the wind. But that's not enough, France. I remember what you put me through. You, Lubeck. Lubeck desieged uh, Brittany in the last war. They'll get their just desserts for it. Let's head over to... Uh, Alright, I'm kind of stuck here because I landed by boat. Let's get over here, march over to Aquitaine, and then sail our way over to the north. Poor Uncle Lubeck getting beaten black and blue by his favourite nephew. <laughs> he didn't have to have this happen to him. Also, Austria went bankrupt in an amazing show of love. Venice is in this war, aren't they? want to get up there, but two forts block the way, but that's what uh, naval superiority is all about. And once again, the French can't take on the Futa. Awesome. Just awesome. The British are even helping out. They're sieging down uh, northern France. That is an opportunity I can't pass up. God needs to be reminded who has Rome. Got your back there, buddy. Britain have been at war with us before, I think. But we always knew we'd have um, shared intro. Oh, Christ, that is, that is close, isn't it? Well, we always knew we'd have these shared interests. Now, where do we go from? Oh, you've cleared the way to Paris if I just take... Unfortunately, the French are in the coalition, so I wouldn't be able to... Separate piece of them, no matter how I cut that one, but we can go and take down Brittany's capital. We're enjoying ticking war score. We have almost the 40 from battles. As long as we don't, you know, lose any battles, we're good. And I like to think the Ottomans can win a battle or two here. Let's take this. Religious unity in Iberia, pretty 100%. In fact, the only province that's not uh, religiously up to scratch is Balerm Palermo, and it has uh, the modifier that stops me being able to uh, change that anyway. Oh, Venetian troops asking to die as well. So many people, so little time. Oh, we can get ourselves uh, global trade. Not of any use to us right now, we're not teching. Prussia tries. They try so hard. And that is why I call it the one shot. We'll rack up a few more bits of war score and then once we have... Uh, 50, it's peacetime, and hey, we can get much of that from a few one battles. I don't like what's going on up here, though. Palermo can hold, the north cannot. Ah, a few battles being lost, and I don't like the look of that. It's going to impact pretty negatively on the war score. We'll start with Calais. They're both grasslands, it doesn't really matter much, man. French lands are so good. You can see why everybody has wanted them ever. Fourth, huh? There's only three days left on that. Mush. No. Well, do your best anyway. Trier want to have revolts, that's fine by me. Makes no real odds. 
What really makes the odds are winning these big ass battles. Also, perhaps I could take this back in zero time. Yoink. We're not all battles and passive sieges around it. Ooh, I bet Paris is worth war score and a half. But it looks like the British are going to take it down on their own terms. That's fine as well. Everybody wants to defend poor Brittany. They do not deserve such a thing. The fact that they would launch a second punitive war upon me shows they cannot be trusted. Oh, I'm going to burn you like a burnt Rome. There we go. Another cheeky little battle, and that is the end of this coalition. And it looks like the British are fighting it for me. What a reversal of fortunes. And there we go, that's the 50. Now, Brittany don't have a lot of money to offer me, which is unfortunate. I wouldn't mind expanding Aquileia. His provinces are expanding. Expensive though. Hella expensive. Could expand Fwa a bit. Still using Caddox, I see. Ever gonna upgrade those boats? If I had a single reason to, I might. But I can't think of one. Where'd our war score go? Don't tell me we lost a battle. Must have lost a battle. Well, British, do something about that. I mean, hell, I could do something about that, but uh-oh, uh that's probably not going to be good for you. I'll see if I can help you out with that. No promises. Oh, jeez, that British morale is rubbish. And France managed to take Futa on. Damn. Well, that was a swing of about 10 war score in a very rapid amount of time. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Let's wing it all back. The Maltese wish to rise up, but that's okay. Although that, uh, that fort that I love so much is being taken down too rapidly for my liking. Let's get you together under ped um, Pedantic. Oh, that's a lot. I don't like that fight at all. Let's bring you guys up into the fray. Oh, jeez. The British just keep losing battles for me. That's not good. That's not good at all. You're out of there on different dates. I can catch... Not enough of you like that, but we're like this. I'll be able to catch a fair few more. Okay, step on it, chumps. They have backup. We need backup too. line is collapsing something fierce here. I'm not sure if infantry alone will be enough, but uh... Whew, nice. Turn that one around at the 11th hour. Right, here's the idea. I'm gonna switch out... Well, here's the real idea. Just get all of you together. Shift, merge. Get rid of anything that's fairly useless. make a stack that is, uh, what was it, like 54? Good enough. Thanks for the ride. It was fun to see you crush them all till next time, says Single Malt 99 My pleasure. I do love crushing them all. Uh, but I need to build up uh, a couple of battles here to swing the war score around. Looks like Calais and Lorraine are there to help me on that front. But I would like these two provinces. God, I left one behind. What a shame.
There we go, now we've got our 50 back. I'm not satisfied with that though. The, uh, the Lorraines need to die as well. Oh, Burgundy, please, queue up. But as long as I... Oh, I don't have that occupation yet. Then yes, the Burgundians can and shall die. Once I get my tick of... Uh, tick of manpower and uh, morale back. Which ticks up really nice and fast. 36%. Offensive, armor tradition, the whole shebang. Meow is gone from our lives, however, I should be able to take these two provinces and a fat load of gold. And with that, we can have an even thicker foie. Perigold. And Vivari. There we go. I knew I'd get it done eventually. We've got these three full states for foi. Alright, everybody. We can return home. And feel real good about ourselves. And we should celebrate by a bit of healthy genocide. Will take 30 months, fine by me. And that really is as far as, oh wait, we said that our capital needs to be the best province around. <laughs> We're demolishing the coalition. We'll make it the best by burning Rome to the ground. You've made up for your sins of border gore. <laughs> thank you. I didn't need the deliverance, but thank you. There we go. If there's something you want to see on the stats page or on the map, now is the time. Because, as I said from the start, this is not a blobbing campaign. We're voting on some blobbing campaigns for sure. If, it, if we roll for uh, Proman Empire Borders, we're going to be taking all of this whilst starting from... Oh, they're even on the map! This is Prom. We'll start, by, start with these guys and uh, take the Roman Empire Borders. It's not going to form Rome. I want to remain Rome because it's cool. Um, another thing is uh, Pirate Naxus. Naxus ain't on the map. Shame for them. And the other thing that's being voted for is creating the Soviet bloc as Montenegro, who start with just this province as a subject of um, Serbia. At least that's what the start will be. That vote's going on on the uh, Patreon, so if you're interested in that, check it out there. But it already hurts me, uh, hurts my guts to shill like that, so I won't say any more on the matter. So, we're being asked about ledger deaths. Let's check it out. Fortunately, we're already on the uh, army losses screen. Ottomans and Russia, as usual, bear the brunt of that. We're up next. Uh, but let's be fair, we have fought a lot in battles. In fact, after the Ottomans, we've lost the most in battle, which is fair. We've fought so many wars. If we could lump all the coalition to one on the ledger, I'm sure they'd come out a lot worse than we do. Also, the Danes wish to rise up. Hang on, can't be having that right now. It's of course an integral state of our country, but uh, enjoy some autonomy. Um... There we go. Proper naming conventions around here. Can we see the colonies? Our colonies are nothing to write home about. These were purely places to throw our undesirables to. We have Barcelona, Aragon, and Exile Island. Exile Island has been bullied mercilessly throughout the whole campaign, but they did find gold for us, and that gold has been super useful. Um, it's been money has not been particularly great in this whole campaign because I've been avoiding doing very lucrative things. Uh, if I wanted to make loads of money, I would have pushed further south and then grabbed some nice um, trade company land, either here and or here, and the money would have just been ugh, raining down on us. But because it's not a blooming campaign, we said no. We had to squeeze out what we could with what we had, and given the force we had to fight. I'm pretty satisfied with how we were able to balance our books in the end. Missed an opportunity for Portugulag. Hmm. I mean, we do have the ability to rename, but yeah, you're right. I missed that. Exile Island wasn't that great. It could have been named better. 
Which one has the most Portuguese in it? Pretty hefty number of Portuguese here, but it's not a big one anyway. Ah well. You live and learn, right? These subjects I took are pretty rubbish. They just keep revolting. It's fine by me though. Ah. Oh. Enrichment in action. Culture map in the random new ocean? Yeah, good question. So we got the Portuguese, Catalan, and Castilians over here in Exile Island. There should be one that's uh, Andalusian. Yeah, there we go. I had to get an initial colony with just my own units. Uh, it was one down here that I took, and then later on this one up here. They actually don't like it because it's the wrong, uh, wrong culture now. Otherwise, over here, what do we have? Fair chunk of Portuguese and Catalan. I really focused on burning out the Portuguese early. And this one's just a melting pot of the whole lot. I think all the Aragonese ended up here. They just had to go after a while, but because they were kind of deep in the country, it was hard to get to them. So now we have the Andalusians and the Basque living in harmony. We pretty much tripled the size of Basque country here. Do we have any Basque people in the chat? Because I want to share my love with you. I doubt we have many Andalusians in the chat, but you never know. Whew. I'm feeling pretty good about all of this. That coalition's gone away, and France are going to be on the very, very long path of forgiving me. But, like I said, they cannot uh, they cannot rise up against me if they even try. The last outpost of Christian Iberians here in Ibiza. They've already been forced to denounce their ways, because I thought I might... Um, I thought I would do it manually, and indeed I did. Didn't ship these guys off. <sighs> oh right, Britain wanted to give us knowledge sharing. Hang on, what about you? The sophisticated affluence of Aquilea are giving us a chance to catch up in technological prowess by knowledge sharing. That's cute, but it's wrong. Can we look at the Middle East? Oh, we can look at the whole world here. Also, thanks for the dosh. And there we go. A bit anticlimactic there, I missed it. But that is it. Culturally, Andalusian is all you ever need to know. Even in our outlying islands, the mainlands, Menorca, Mallorca, Ibiza. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And it forms this nice smiley face thanks to the Basque existing there. Yes, just to be clear. Azores, Madeira, Tenerife. Grand Canaria, all Andalusian, as it should be. And that concludes Renovation of Iberia. We did it. Like I said, again, I can't emphasize this enough. People keep going, oh, go on, like, conquer these guys, do this. This is not a blobbing campaign. The reason I uh, have campaigns where I state that is so that we don't get carried away and just have this endless blob fest. Because towards the end, the challenge really dissipates. I mean, look at this. I've managed to crush all of Europe together, even in a double truce break, no CB against them. I think we've won here. That's happy little side things. We nabbed Rome, made Aquilea exist, took an important site for a new colony, and dis dismantled the HRE. I'm very satisfied with this campaign. So uh, I think we're going to let the replay play out, and I'm going to take the stream down for about, uh, about an hour, and then we'll be back with a weekly one-shot. So until then, for me... It's cheers for joining for the renovation of Iberia, and until next time, cheerio.